Hey guys, my name is Sheila. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about using your thigh toner or your thigh master to do arm exercises. If you've purchased one of those and they aren't that expensive, you've probably been thinking that, hey, I'm going to use these to tone up and firm up my thighs and buttocks and hips and that it is totally a lower body piece of equipment. But that's not entirely true. There are a few upper exercises that you can do with it. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about five different arm exercises that you can do with your thigh toner or a thigh master. Oops, and I had to go back and add this little piece in. Don't forget to stick around until the end of the video because I have just a few tips to sort of help you with each of these exercises. So let's go ahead and get started with the five arm exercises for the thigh toner or thigh master. The very first exercise that we're going to do is one that resembles the butterfly press in the gym. You're going to be working your pecs. There is going to be a shorter range of motion here, but you do have the advantage of having both that positive and negative force as you push your hands together. Now, I have seen other videos and pictures showing the piece of equipment actually reversed so that the black part is closer to you however I have found that this works better and so you can see there you are just pushing the arm handles together as you hold it out in front of you and if you do it slowly then you do get the benefit of having that positive and negative force the next one is the bent arm side raise you're gonna do each arm separately here and you're just going to place the piece of equipment up under your arm and then bring your arm close to your body. Now, the thing to remember when you're doing this particular exercise is to make sure that that black rotating piece of the equipment is actually out in front of your arm and not all the way up under it because it does make it much harder to be able to pull the piece of equipment into your body. Then also notice how I'm using my free hand to stabilize the piece of equipment so that it stays in place. And then here you have the side angle so you can see how it is not up under my arm. Third, we have the raised arm bicep curl. Again, we're gonna do each arm separately. We're gonna start by placing it on top of our arm. And again, we're gonna use that free hand to hold the piece of equipment in place so that it's stabilized and controlled. And then we're just gonna bring our hand down to our shoulder. And then again, if you notice the black part is actually sort of behind the back part of my arm and not actually right there in the middle where it would get in the way. Next, we have the deltoid plus the butterfly press. And so we're working a little bit of the deltoids and then also the chest as we're pressing the handles together. Now notice in this one that I do have my hands cupped around the black rotating part of the equipment. And that's where you're going to hold on to it. And then you're going to press those arm handles closely together. Again, you have both the positive force and the negative force here. The range of motion is kind of short, but because you don't have a high resistance there, this gives you the opportunity to do quite a few reps. And yes, I did have gum in my mouth and I was chewing. I totally forgot about that. But here's the side angle and you can see me squeezing that together. Then we have the front bicep curl. Again, this is more of a pulse because of the short range of motion. And so you wanna look there and see how I've got the black rotating part next to me and then my arm out just a little bit. I'm holding on to the handle with my free hand and then using the other hand to bring the handle close to my body. And so it's sort of like a bicep curl. You just aren't going all the way down. And then you'll switch and you can do each arm individually. See, so even I had to make sure I had it positioned correctly there because you don't want it too far in between the arms. It just gets in the way. 
So that's pretty much it, but I did want to take some time to go over some of the tips that I think will definitely help you when you're doing these arm exercises. So you want to make sure you're holding your core tight, especially if you're standing up, which I actually think is the best way to do these exercises. Don't forget to use your free hand to keep the equipment in place so that it doesn't go flying off and so that it's easier to control because that'll definitely be helpful for you. And then also make sure you're taking advantage of the positive and negative force and control the movement as you're coming up and coming down. And then again, because this isn't a piece of equipment that is heavy, even though there's a lot of tension, you have the ability to do higher reps with this. So also take advantage of that. So the convenience of this, you don't need like a whole bunch of like floor space or anything like that to use this if it's something you already have on hand it's great these are additional exercises that you can do and then typically the thigh toner or thigh master doesn't even cost that much so you can probably get one from um, from Amazon or someplace like that but other than that that is about it thanks for watching the video I hope you you um, were able to follow those five exercises and let me know if there was one or more of those exercises that you need a little bit more help in understanding how to do. I get that I may be showing them to you, but sometimes the placement and how you hold it can really make it more difficult to do it even though I'm showing it to you and talking about it. Sometimes you just need a little bit more info. So definitely let me know in the notes, in the comments, if you um, need some more instructions about any of the exercises that I showed you in this video, or if you have favorites, or if you come across some that you're doing yourself. So I'd love to hear about those too. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything, and, the, and then hit the notification bell so that you can get an email when my next video is coming live to you. Peace.